For the Small Biz theme, the Options panel is your control center for your website. And it takes you step by step through customizing everything you want to do on your website to give it your own unique look and feel. There's a Getting Started section with videos and links to the user's guide. The next section is the home page layouts. Here you can choose from 13 different layouts. Just select the layout that you want, save it, and your site will automatically be updated. The content is not transferred between the layouts though, so you want to kind of choose your layout first and experiment before you enter in all your content. Here's an example of just change the layout of the site, did a refresh, and that's all there is to it. Going back to the options panel, The next section is the company logo and business information. Here you can add your own company logo. You can upload it into WordPress and provide the link there. You're probably going to want to turn off the text in your header area though, so that it doesn't conflict with the logo. You'll see what I mean as soon as I refresh the page. Now you can see the logo right in the header area. After changing the logo, the next thing I might want to do is add my business information. Here I can change the business name, the subheader that shows up in the header if your logo is not there, and the key information about your business like the street address, city, state, and zip. So this can go on every page of your website and in the HCARD microformats. You also have links to your social media profiles that will show up in the header on the right hand side. The next section is the color and font family options, and this is where you can set Things like the background color of your website, using the WordPress controls, you can upload an image for the background of your header and footer, or change the background color to be anything that you want. This is the section that you want to do that. You can set the content colors, you can set the color of your navigation menu, you can do all kinds of things from here, just stepping through and making changes to the colors. Here you can also customize your menus, the navigation menus, and tell which page pages are going to show up on the menu and which aren't. You can set specific menus for your website, a different menu for your Facebook custom pages, and a different menu for your mobile pages as well. The WordPress menu editor allows you to add and remove pages directly from here so that you can totally customize the navigation on your website. You can also choose fonts font styles and sizes for all the different areas of your, your site. You can change the H1 and H2 and H3 tag sizes and font colors. The next section is the home page text. And this is the section where you can change all the content on your home page. You can change the image and everything else that you see there. Also contains all of your local information. So I'm going to make a quick change to my home page text and save it and refresh the page. And there you'll see now it says instead of welcome to my business, it says welcome to my new business. And so really it's a visual editor so you can change the content of your homepage very easily. Back in the options panel, let's move down to the SEO section. Now here, the, the, word, the small biz WordPress theme has added in key SEO functions, also the ability to add Google Analytics and Google Webmaster tools and Google authorship highlights. So if you want to do the Google authorship markup like rel equals author and rel equals publisher, you just put in your Google Plus profiles here and we'll take care of the rest. You can also set up specific mobile landing pages for your site. From here, all you need to do is check a box and modify the text and the image that you want to have showing up, showing up on your mobile site. I'll go ahead and check the box and save it and show you what this looks like. So here's a very basic web page which you can then customize by changing the text and the header image but it gives you touch enabled gives you touch enabled buttons for calling, for emailing, and for map and directions so that your customers can find you quickly from their mobile device. The next section is the Facebook page setup. And from here, we've we've got an accompanying Facebook app that allows you to use your small biz site to manage custom page content on your Facebook page. There's also an e-commerce integration we have with Cash e-commerce, but Small Biz works with any e-commerce plugin. Now, I also want to show you widgets because the Small Biz theme allows you to set up different sidebars for different pages on the site. Let's take a look at the global sidebar. Whatever widgets that you put in here will show up on every page of the site. 
Now the Small Biz theme comes with a number of different widgets, custom widgets that you can put in. I'm gonna show you the social media icons widget here. You can go in and enter in the links to your social media profiles and only the ones that you enter in will show up. Once we save this and go back to the site, this will show up on all of our pages. And there are our social media icons. So you can get very specific about what sidebars you wanna have show up on what pages of your site. So another thing I'd like to show you is we've got a widget, a dynamic layout. So one of the homepage layouts is a fully drag and drop widgetized layout with drop zones. So I'm gonna to switch to that layout and save our changes. Let's take a look at what that, we pre-populate that with a bunch of widgets to get you started. And you can remove those or change them or do whatever you want. And by going to the appearance widgets section, here you're gonna see a whole bunch of drop zones on the right. And we've got a map below that shows you what happens when you drag widgets into these different drop zones and where they're gonna show up. So for example, in the drop zone full width, we've got a slideshow widget. And in the drop zone four column, we've got several visual text editor widgets. So from here, you can just edit your content just like a Word document and then drag that widget anywhere that you need to on your site. It gives you a lot of flexibility and options for customizing the theme. Here you see the slideshow widget and the widgets along the bottom. So as you can see, the options panel is really your control center for your small biz website. It allows you to change all different kinds of things. And there's a complete user guide, both downloadable and online, that you can go to to get help. And we handle all of our support emails and answer them. So when you're working with the Small Biz WordPress theme, we'll be there with you every step of the way.